I'd take lethal injection any day than have to go back here? What? I almost just choked on my Starburst. The internet is a cruel, cruel place, and even though we go to theme parks to have fun, it seems like there are plenty of people out there who are not having fun. So we are going to uh, delve into the deep, dark depths of Yelp today and read- One star reviews. One star <laughs> reviews of some of our favorite theme parks and roller coasters, and- Whew, yeah. Y'all are These are doozy. All right, take it away, pal. Instead of grounding my kids, I would just put them on this ride. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna have to agree with this one. You would grab your first, kids. Yep, put... I am. I am agreeing with this one. Magnum XL Magnum 200. Is fun. I can't with that ride. It is painful. Mm -mm. And you know what? If I had kids, I'd put them on there mm -mm. to punish them. I would. <laughs> I spent a total of five hours in the parking lot. First of all, I have questions. What are you doing? What for a waste five hours? of time! I pretty much cash app my kids' money while I drove around looking for a spot to park in. They got in after I dropped them off at 11, and I got in at 6.30. Oh, BS. Five hours to park? Bull hunky. There's no way. There's literally Five no way. Five hours? When did they go? Was this gold passes? It's the gold passes. There's no way you would not be able to find a single spot for, for five, five hours. hours? You could probably find a spot in Manhattan on New Year's Eve. Actually, I don't know about that. Your amusement park is trash because you don't even make harsh... Harshly, ch <laughs> harshly, 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 harshly park. Let's go to harshly. Harshly, park. you've already lost all credibility, Karen. You don't even make harshly chocolate. There is an amusement park, and I'm gonna come to that music, music park, park and jump in the buckets of. <laughs> what is this person trying to say? So it sounds like they expected to come to harshly park. Oh, well, and, yeah, they're gonna be disappointed. And that it would not be a normal amusement park, it would literally be vats of chocolate to swim around in and play in. Like it was like a water park, but chocolate. Was told to remove sandals for roller coasters, but you can't step on a ride platform without shoes. That is true, that is a true statement. You have to wear shoes to step on the platforms that you remove your shoes for the ride. Seriously? Eat <laughs> Big swim, oh no. Go anywhere but here. Zero stars and seven thumbs down. Oh no. <laughs> Ew, what a nasty oh, visual. Uh, I can go my entire life without Bad. hearing that ever again. Should be sponsored by Advil. Yeah. Kentucky Kingdom. You that's ever thought a, about sponsorships? It's a good sponsorship. You guys could have like a little stand like at the beginning and at the end. Like with <laughs> They should sell them in the gift shop. Actually, they probably do sell Advil in the they gift shops. They probably shops. do. One of the rides, the Tickler. That's the weirdest name for a ride I, ever. I know. We felt wads of spit hit us in our hair, ears, and faces, and I was insulted by the male employee working that ride. He had the nerve to tell me I couldn't ride the ride if I was pregnant. What? I told him what? I wasn't, oh, and instead ooh. of apologizing, he said he wanted to ask me before the female employee said anything. Well, she never said anything, and I did not have any problem fitting in that ride or any ride there. Ugh. That took a turn I was That's not expecting. That's uncomfortable. I thought that she was like, I can ride if I want to. I don't care oh, if I'm like, carrying oh, a child, she, oh, I'm like riding. She, like, like she, she was, was pregnant and she did want to I did ride. not expect the next line that uh, she was not and she and just the guy, her fat. Oh, oh, oh man. That's, oh. You know what? Take your one star review. I, you know, I, I understand. You gotta be more careful. Yeah, don't, you can't, you don't, can't, don't assume. Never it's, ask a woman if she's oh, pregnant. Yeah. Just let her tell you. Yeah. Even if she's like nine months in about to pop a shorty <laughs> on the ground. Just don't. By the end of the ride, my shirt had completely come off. Uh, you know, the first time I rode lightning rod, mine did too. I mean, not like, like fully. Okay, well no, this guy's completely came off. So I don't know how it like got through his head hole and that uh, you just come back in the station. I'm gonna just be honest with on. you. But mine was like, you know. I See, that was a bad thing. I think that's funny. I literally lost my shirt on King Nakai, like fully. And I thought it was funny. I didn't write a negative review. <laughs> <laughs> we literally watched two young employees throw a ball back and forth while waiting for the ride to come back to the station. And it got even better when they dropped the ball onto the track and had to call maintenance. <laughs> oh, bro! Yikes. I'm not even I... mad at this Karen. Like, I would be like, I don't know if I'd write a Yelp review, but I'd be like, that's just, all right, I've seen employees on phones before, but this is like, this is something special. Like, like I dropped the ball into the sense. track. Common sense, common sense, don't do that. That's stupid. Did not flip or loop. One star, Mako. <laughs> Anytime a roller coaster doesn't go down, one star. No flips or loops, done. 
What's funny, though, is according to Six Flags' website in the past, which we already talked about, Nitro did flip and loop. Yeah. So if they had written this about Nitro, they could have complained about the false advertisement. That would have been a justified one <laughs> That would have been fair. Rode three rides because my ass was too big and ended the day with swamp ass. Best $55 spent. Also, $5 for a tablespoon of water was awesome. Wait, hold on. Do they charge for water? No, no, no. The cups of water are free. Yeah. $5 for, like, a bottled water? This that is, is expensive, but... The swamp comment, that's funny because... I'm not going to say we've all been there, but we've all been there. <laughs> this one's a, a doozy. Here we go. We waited in line for one hour. It's not even that bad. It's not even bad. They said they were having some minor issues. Later, they said that we could leave because it would take longer than they expected. Because that never happens. So we went to another ride and waited for 45 more minutes. Oh, no. This ruined my whole day at Owa. An hour the and 45 day. minutes An hour and 45 minutes. Day. You got to ride a ride. That's a really short day. A ton of lantern flies. If you're from out of state, please make sure you don't take any home. These flies destroy trees and are super invasive. There are no signs warning people from outside the area. Some spots have so many dead bugs that you can smell them. One that star. is actually true. Oh, it is. We but were one there. Star? Hershey Park can't control the bugs? Yeah. Like, I think they're mad about them not having a sign, but I don't know how much people would really take one them seriously. One star anyway. because of something they can't control? Like, that doesn't impact your visit to the point where you're like, this ruined my day. These Stupid bugs. Stupid lantern flies. These bugs. But waiting in line for 45 minutes might ruin your day, according to. Oh, the, yeah. Oh, other yeah. Other Karen. Oh, yeah. This is basically carnival rides with four roller coasters. My nine-year-old liked the roller coasters, though, including the Steel, Steel Hawk and Cornhole Express. The Cornhole Express. <laughs> what does that smell? My youngest child kept asking. It was a... <laughs> oh, gross. It was a mix of urine and beer, if you ask me. Is Indiana Beach secretly a frat house? <laughs> <laughs> I like this Madeline Fist review. The headboard isn't even real. It's a wall sticker. That is so right. So when you stay in the Mount Olympus Hotel, which I did one time. Why? It was a deal. It was a steal. We walk in there and they have the bed and it has a headboard and you're like, oh, that's nice. And then you walk up to it and you realize that it is like part of the wall. It's like a sticker. It's like a picture of a headboard instead of an actual what? headboard. What? It is hilarious. What? It is so funny. Oh, I like this one. Valley Fair is not fair! Mr. Krabs is in there! Standing at the concession! Plotting his oppression! Oh, you spit on me a little. <laughs> Great American Scream Machine, otherwise abbreviated as GASM, our person who, <laughs> who reviewed this ride decided to make their own acronym. Gruesome Agonizing Sadism Machine. And for that, <laughs> I'm gonna have to agree with you. That is one of my least favorite roller coasters. It's not a good ride. <laughs> it's not a good ride. Actually, out of all the roller coasters that we were looking at for this, Great American Scream Machine had the worst review, like the like the lowest star it's rating horrible. out of any roller coaster we could find. This one says, you'll be screaming all right, screaming in pain. <laughs> I'm young and this is the most painful ride I've ever been on. Two days later, my back is still sore. I would not wish this upon my worst enemies. Here's another one. My brother broke his nose on this ride a couple How? years ago. Rough riding and bangs you around like a sack of potatoes. How is this ride not decommissioned? Honestly, it's true though. The only reason I'm writing this review is to warn the folks out there that appreciate their brain, skull, and spine remaining intact should refrain from writing this. That's actually really funny. You know, if I ever was gonna write a, write a Yelp review about any roller coaster, it would probably be this or Wildcat at Lake Compound. Oh, that was horrible. Do not that's, ride! That's a horrible ride. All I wanted was a mother...